a lot of people are asking on Reddit and in YouTube videos how to have an e kit where you can still hear the kit while playing Clone Hero because some people want to be able to listen to the drums being played by themselves on top of the song. To do this annoyingly on Windows is quite awkward because you can only select one MIDI device to be attached. So if I turned on my Alesis, I could only really attach my Alesis to Clone Hero. So what you need to do to make it work is have essentially two MIDI devices that work off of the one. So in order to do that, what you need to do is download this here first of all. This is Loop MIDI and what this essentially does is it creates virtual MIDI devices. After that, what you need to download is this here, which is MIDI OX or MIDI OX, I don't know. Uh, but then from there, what this does is it it takes the virtual devices and it can turn your one device to go through both of those devices. And then what you're going to need is Easy Drummer or any drum VST really that you can map MIDI keys to. Right, so once you've downloaded those, what you want to do is you want to first of all connect your drum set as obvious as that should be. At least with the Nitro and Surge, they just have a USB MIDI out, which is a USB B cable. If you've got another kind of drum set, can help you. I'd imagine it's probably similar. And if it's not, you, you're gonna have to find something else, pal. Once you've turned that on, you'll hear the, the connection, obviously, of your drum set connected into Windows. And then what you need to do is you need to open up Loop MIDI. Once this is here, you'll see I've already got two of these set up. But what you'll do is you, you go here and you would name it whatever you want and then you press the plus. So if I wanted to make another one, I'd be like clone hero drums. And then once you hit plus, that's it. That's then a virtual MIDI device. So once you've made, you want to make two. So you want to make one that's going to give you the hits on Clone Hero so you can actually play the game. And you're going to want one so that those same hits can go to Easy Drummer or FL Studio or whatever. I will show you. And then you want to open MIDI OX. This program, first of all, it looks uh, old. It looks pretty scuffed. But it's simple to use. So all you want to do once you've got this open, you do need to keep both of these open at all times, as well as the the DAW door, FL Studio, or whatever, or Ableton, whatever you're using. Um, but you go on options, MIDI devices, and then here's what you've got. So what you want to do, it, is, it will save your settings as well, most of the time. But you want to click the main in one, as the input so that's going to be your drum kit so it'll be the elisa surge the roland whatever i i don't know who you are or what you've got but it will show up here once the drivers are installed once you've got that selected on the inputs you want to do your outputs so this is that's basically telling it this is what i want to use to hit and then this is telling or this is sending it back out to these two so you as essentially have three MIDI devices when you go into your programs later but you will pick one of these and they'll, they'll just use these so when you're going into clone here or anything you won't be selecting a Lisa's surge anymore right and then once that's done on this window once you've pressed ok you can just uh, you can hit your drums check it's working they should all have an input on there um, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open for me it's easy drummer for you might be fl studio but i will show you that after if you've got easy drummer or you've obtained easy drummer through other other means you know what i mean uh but if you've got that you can you will have this screen and this is where you select all of your 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 drum sets and how they're going to sound and all of that. So, 
So you want that to work. Um, and then what you want to do is, like I just did then, I'll do it again. You want to go down here in the bottom right, go MIDI, MIDI in E drum settings. And then on the left, if, the, if nothing's showing, just hit the refresh and you'll have all three of your MIDI devices. You want to select Easy Drummer or PC Drums, whatever you named the one for your program. And then you want to leave Clone Hero and the actual drum kit left alone. And what that basically does is it takes the one you're rooting it to, one of the devices you're rooting it to, and we'll put it to here. So then if, if you've done that right and it's selected and it's working, You hear it. <laughs> right. So initially, when you've got it working, there's probably going to be a delay. That's just a Windows thing. There's going to be a delay or maybe there's some weird sound with Easy Drummer. If you're used to these programs already, you've probably already dealt with this issue. But essentially, what you need to do is go into audio and MIDI setup. And then you're going to need an ASIO driver, ASIO driver, whatever. For free, you can download Flex, Flex ASIO. Um, and that's probably the one I'd go with. ASIO for all is good, but it doesn't it doesn't really let you play things back out through the same device. You can't go through stereo mix or anything else like that. But with Flex Audio, you want to download Flex A ASIO. There's plenty of tutorials on how to set this up. So I'm not going to go through that, but essentially you want to get the GUI downloaded as well. And then you can select whatever it's going out to. And then you want the, ideally set the buffer side to 64 and then do this. It, it should be the same here anyway. If you're using a different one, like if I was using the FL Studio one, oh, then you, you ideally want to get it as low as possible because that will stop the delay you've, if you've got it they usually have the milliseconds here but if the lower milliseconds obviously there's going to be less delay and you want less delay because otherwise you're going to be hitting something on the drums and it's going to sound really off you don't want that and then what you want to do is open clone hero if you've used clone hero before and use the e drums on there then you'll know how to set all this up Pretty much you're just you're just selecting the input device that you used that you made earlier if you haven't set midi drums up on clone hero ever at all there's a great video from asai who's made a video on how to set everything up for clone hero version one essentially and he can tell you everything you need to know for that but what we're doing is we're using a very specific way it so once you're here, you press enter as you would to set up the drums, select your profile, and then go back in it. But uh, go into MIDI settings, go input device, and then you're going to have all of yours. And what you want to do is you don't want to select your drum set because that is already being used by MIDI OX. So if, you, if I was to select that, the drums wouldn't work because it's all one MIDI device can only go to one program, basically. So that's already going to MIDI OX, but then MIDI OX is pushing that out to the others. So what you would choose is the Clone Hero one you made. And then what that's going to do is, I can show you, is... Whoop. It's just going to work. And then you can play the game. And then you just leave Easy Drummer or whatever you use, hold it in the background, and uh, you'll hear it. You can hear it in the menus. So if you can hear it in the menus, and it's all working, and the menus are moving around, and you've got everything mapped, that's it. Um, the only other thing is... Because of volumes, you can do what I do, and I like to turn the massive volume all the way down, because that just means that 
I'm going to hear my drums over the top of the song, no matter what the song is. Songs are still pretty damn loud. So <laughs> it's some like it's you're still going to hear the song fine that low. But obviously you can you can move this however you want. Um, and then what you want to also do is turn drums freestyle right to the bottom because that start point of the song where you used to be able to hear your drums anyway, that is going to double up. You don't want to hear the clone hero ones anymore because they're going to sound like shit compared to whatever you're using more than likely now. So uh, get that to the bottom so that all you hear is your easy drummer or get good drums or Steven Slate drums or a fucking four million different drum VSTs that there is. You pick one. You pick your favorite and how it sounds and you're just going to hear it. And that's the main thing is getting loop MIDI and MIDI OX and those separate MIDI devices going from the one. And then that's it. That's it. It's all good. So once you've done all of that, you should be able to play just fine. And you can play like I do in the shorts I've made, which here's one. Look at that. Wow. That's really good. Uh, subscribe, like, and also go check out the Glitch Bowl podcast, which we linked below, where we, me and a friend, have done a podcast and some other videos. See you later, pal.